Congrats on the film. Thanks very much. This is about Molly Bloom. This is a true life story. It's an absolutely true story. Molly Bloom, in her 20s and 30s, ran the world's most exclusive high-stakes poker game. Movie stars, sports stars, politicians, hedge fund managers, they would win or lose millions of dollars in the course of a night, sometimes in the course of a hand. And it was all legal until she crossed a very thin line. And even then, nobody, she wasn't in, in trouble until she unknowingly invited four members of the Russian mafia to play in the game. Yeah. That's when the FBI got interested. That is a, uh, that is a problem. Yeah. In general, they say the limit is three Russian mob guys at any. Yeah, and she invited four. <laughs> the fourth one's the killer. And um, also unknowingly, an FBI informant. <laughs> yeah, that's not great. <laughs> and the thing is, she was, her, one of her, her expertise was vetting players. Yeah. Um, uh, was knowing exactly who was uh, uh, sitting at her table. So. Even though she was facing five years in jail, she was mostly really embarrassed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. This, uh, this movie has classic uh, Aaron Sorkin dialogue, which I'm a great fan of, but this is the first time you directed, uh, and you ended up directing a script written by Aaron Sorkin. Yeah. Did, what, did you realize now the difficulty that directors maybe have had over the years directing I, I, your scripts? I don't understand. <laughs> don't understand why at least three of them haven't punched me in the face. <laughs> Um, uh, I called, uh, on the second day of shooting, I called David Fincher, who directed uh, The Social Network, and I said, uh, David, where do you have the actors breathe when, uh, uh, when they're doing my stuff? And this is the sound he made. <laughs> <laughs> you actually had a, uh, an uh, Oscar-winning director on your film, which is Kevin Costner. Yes. Um, uh, Kevin was incredibly supportive, incredibly encouraging. He would remind me from time to time that when he directed his first film, Dances with Wolves, uh -huh. he had to worry about which direction 5,000 Buffalo were going to run when he called action. <laughs> yeah. And were they going to come back? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but uh, I talked to a number of directors, including a friend of yours, Adam McKay. Uh huh. Um, uh, uh, who, the, the Big Short. The Big Short, uh, uh, who was very encouraging. Everybody, uh, I, I didn't write this movie thinking I was going to direct it. When I write something, I want the very best director to direct it. That's never me. Um, <laughs> But uh, I wrote it and uh, delivered the first draft, and the producers uh, encouraged me to direct it. And the thing is, and this is for real, um, uh, it, after describing all the glamour and the decadence and the money and the poker uh, uh, and everything, the movie does have all that. But it's set against the backdrop of that. It's actually, and this isn't a joke, it's a Christmas movie. Um, yeah. I, it is a very, Molly Bloom is a very inspirational, aspirational character, and ultimately it's a story about doing the right thing when the wrong thing is a lot easier, uh, more profitable, can keep you out of jail. Basically, she refused to dish on the players uh, uh, who were playing in the game, which is what the Justice Department wanted her to do. The other amazing thing about her story, which is uh, taken care of in the film, is that she was an Olympic skier. That's right. So, obviously, there are many poker scenes in the film. Directing that requires a level of skill, but I imagine the technical uh, expertise required to shoot a skiing scene is more intimidating as a first-time director. We were, yes. Molly Bloom um, uh, came, uh, uh, she was ranked third in North America in women's moguls. That's the form of uh, uh, skiing, which is Yes. <laughs> Um, it's just, it looks like a terrible way to die. And uh, she was ranked third in North America, came about 100 yards from making the U.S. Olympic ski team when, this isn't a spoiler, it happens in the first eight minutes, when she literally and metaphorically trips over a stick mm -hmm. um, uh, and literally and metaphorically flies way off course uh, uh, in her life. Directing those scenes, we were on an actual World Cup uh, a slope, which is 52 degrees. It's slanted about like that. Now, I, I have to tell you, honestly, I have a problem on a flat surface that's, that's dry. <laughs> uh, I fall down for no reason at all. And I'm standing on this 52 degree ice wall, um, trying to confidently give instructions to, to the crew, to the stunt skiers, to people who are used to this kind of thing. And I would start out, all right, on action, we're going to... And I would just fall down and somebody would lift me up. Okay, sorry, guys, on action, we're going to... Damn it! <laughs> um, and it would take me 10 minutes to get a direction out because I just couldn't stand up. And finally, just two guys on the crew 
just held me up under each <laughs> arm while I directed the movie. It was humiliating. I think, you know, it's uh, when you think of Molly Bloom and this incredible story, uh, it almost seems sad that a man who couldn't even stand in snow. Uh, no, I <laughs> couldn't even stand in the snow. And by the way, also can't play, I've, I, I can't play poker. I'm not a poker player, but all of the extras in the poker scenes were professional poker players. I wanted it that way. Professional poker players have a way of handling cards and chips that's just different. Yep. Uh, from me and you. Now, extras are paid about $90 for a 12-hour day. They're, they're not paid very much at all. But they didn't care because every big shot actor that came in, like Michael Sarah and Chris O'Dowd, would come in and do their poker scenes. Anytime we were changing lenses, changing lighting, moving the cameras, the dealer, who is a professional dealer, would just start to deal around. The actors would always want to play with the pros. The actors went home without their pants. <laughs> and. The extras were the highest paid actors on the set. <laughs> well, there's something <laughs> fitting about that as well. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. It's really a wonderful film. Thanks congratulations very much. on the Golden Globe. I appreciate it. Christmas Day. Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. Aaron Sorkin, everybody, Molly's game. Christmas Day, nationwide.